Aircraft produced by the De Havilland Company have played a large part in New Zealand's aviation history, most notably the Tiger Moth and the other De Havilland biplanes of the 1930s. This year, visitors to classic fighters enjoyed the New Zealand Air Show debut of two of Geoffrey de Havilland's earliest aircraft designs. The Airco DH-2 was designed by de Havilland while he was working for the Aircraft Manufacturing Company and was first used on the Western Front in February 1916. This aircraft is notable in that it's a pusher with the engine and propeller situated at the rear of the fuselage. This design enabled the pilot to operate a forward firing machine gun at a time when the British had not yet developed a reliable method of firing a gun between spinning propeller blades. Despite being slower and having a relatively unreliable engine, the DH-2 was more manoeuvrable than the German aircraft of the time, especially the Fokker Eindecker monoplane. Until the arrival of the DH-2, the Eindecker had been exacting a heavy toll on the Allied forces. But de Havilland's aircraft helped the British gain air superiority during the Battle of the Somme in late 1916. The Airco DH-5 was de Havilland's next single-seat fighter design and the aircraft was intended to replace the DH-2 in late 1916. This was the first de Havilland aircraft to incorporate an interrupter mechanism to enable the forward-facing machine gun to be fired through the propeller arc. backward stagger of the upper wing is an unusual design feature of the DH-5. De Havilland appreciated the excellent forward field of vision provided by the earlier DH-2 and positioned the upper wing of this aircraft behind the pilot to provide the same improved view. Unfortunately, the 100 horsepower rotary engines of the DH-5 didn't provide it with sufficient power to perform well as a fighter. However, the pilot's forward field of view and the robustness of the type made it very suited to ground attack duties. The 550 DH-5s produced in 1916 and 17 were eventually replaced in service by the Royal Aircraft Factory SE-5A aircraft in early 1918. The DH-5s were used as advanced trainers for a short time afterwards, but soon became completely obsolete. This replica aircraft is the only known DH-5 in existence and after its arrival at Ormarka, underwent a complete overhaul. <laughs> 